Well, hey, y'all, I hope you're having a great day. It's a beautiful day to be a good day. Isn't that the truth? We're in the first day of June today here. So uh, everything is just popping and blooming, and it's a wonderful thing. Y'all, today's video is going to be so much fun. I'm going to show you how I created a cozy outdoor space. Really, I call it a cozy outdoor room that is simple and budget friendly. Make sure you watch to the end because I'm gonna share exactly how much money I spent. Listen, let's do this, it's gonna be fun. Let's just dive right in. Y'all, first of all, my idea of decor or decorating is inside and outside the same thing and that is cozy friendly welcoming when you walk in my front door i want you to feel like you're home i want you to look around and spot a place that you could pick up a book snuggle up and curl up in that space whether it's a chair or couch or whatever and feel that warmth of home and hearth and all of that. Um, I also believe in putting in your home and outside or wherever what you love. Because if you love what you have, if it means something to you and you're comfortable in it, your guests are going to feel the same way. Isn't that the truth? All right. So that's my ideas. All right. So I'm going to start from the beginning. We bought this property in 2017, 2016 really, but we moved in in 2017 in January. We had our manufactured home brand new delivered. So the whole property was a uh, blank slate really, landscaping wise. I didn't have a patio or deck or anything. I had a stoop out front and a stoop out back. But we decided to wait a year before we did anything major and to save. Okay, so that's what we did. I did have a few pots on my little stoop of, of uh, flowers. But other than that, I didn't do a whole lot. Okay, so then the next year, which was 2018, uh, we saved our money that year and saved up to put our front deck on or porch. And I've always wanted a big front porch that I could sit on, pray, soak up nature, soak up some peace, all the things. And uh, so my husband built the most wonderful deck. We decided on getting the composite uh, materials rather than wood. Um, and we did that because y'all, we're not getting any, any younger. And I don't want to fool with staining, painting, rebuilding. Y'all, this product is for life. Anyway, let me show you what that looks like. Now, the cheapest way to add some coziness to your area outside or in really is plants or flowers. And so the first year, I didn't really do anything else after we got that deck but plant some flowers. We did make a little flower bed in the front. And I'm to the age now, I used to love to garden. I just used to love it. But now I just have that one huge flower uh, in the front of my deck. Uh, that I have my lily beds in, and then the rest of the, I do pots. But I stayed like that for several years, and every year, y'all, my plants, <laughs> my flowers just get multiplying and getting bigger and bigger. Um, you'll notice I don't do a whole lot of green plants because if it ain't got color, I don't really want to fool with it. But anyway, check it out. always have. Okay, so the next thing I added uh, on the next year was I added cushions. These wonderful cushions that I got at the Walmart. I'm going to show you this. I just took it off my bench 
and I put it up on the bench and it really made it pop with color. These uh, are outdoor safe. You can leave them outside, but they have weathered and I got these, I think what, in 2019 and I love them. So that really started to make things pop. Check it out. Year. I was so blessed because for my birthday, we uh, bought some rocking chairs. Y'all, I love rocking chairs. Uh, I just love them. So anyway, we got also composite material that is lifetime. And we bought those at Walmart. And I, I still have them. They have, they have come through everything. Tropical storms and everything that we've gone through. Hey, check it out. So then the next year, I found these cute little retro chairs that we used to have at grandma's house. And y'all have seen them probably too. Maybe you even still have some of them. But I found them online for uh, a really good price, which I'll share at the end. Check it out, y'all. These are cute. y'all the next year i came across this wonderful find y'all i want you to look look at this you see these cute cute outdoor fabric pillows i mean y'all listen look at this one look at this one isn't that the cutest thing it's such nice pop summer colors so i got a i started getting these from the walmart and stacking them up and i've added several every year and i just think they did a great great thing uh, and I had a few little signs I picked up. Uh, some of them were given to me, but I started, you know, looking around for that kind of stuff. Check it out. Y'all, up to now, I feel like I have really created a cozy space, a warm and friendly and very happy place. But what happened in 2023 really defined my space and turned it into a little room. And let me tell you what happened. Y'all, in 2023, our homeowners contacted us in about February and told us that they had been out to, to check out our property when we weren't there, took pictures and all, and they said they were gonna drop our insurance if we didn't put a front rail on my deck. Y'all, I didn't want a front rail. I didn't want to box myself in. Um, from the beginning, I wanted it open so I could just sit there and all the things. And I want you to know, I threw a fit. I did not want to spend that money and mess up my space. But listen, y'all, once I did it, I couldn't believe. In fact, my neighbor stood there and looked at it and she said, Linda, this rail, I didn't think I'd like it but it really defines this and makes you have a room. You have an outside room. I love it. Check it out. Okay, y'all, so here we are at the end. Let me tell you how much I spent. And before I even do that, let me tell you my main number one tip for decorating inside or out, no matter how big or small the job is. Don't try to do it all at one time, unless you have to, like if there's been, uh, you know, some damage done to your house or something. But uh, we did this over a long period of time. We started in 2018 and we're still at it at 2024. I saved for the next thing, and then I, when I got that, I did it. And that's the only way I could keep it, uh, get, get done what I wanted to get done. All right, so here's the deal, y'all. Cushions, I got them at the Walmart uh, several years back, as you recall, and I paid $40 a piece for them, and they were $160 all. 
total. The pillows, y'all, were only $5 a piece. I think that's the best find ever. Uh, so I just keep buying them, $5 a piece. So all together I have seven, so that's $35. Um, so now the little retro chairs, they were $50 a piece. I ordered them online, but the, it, they had a deal going, buy one, get one half price. So I spent $75 for the two little retro chairs. The rocking chairs were $100 a pop, about a little bit under, you know, but with tax and everything. So that was $200 for the rocking chairs. Um, the little accent table I spent, you know, $15 for, and the signs were nothing. I got them at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I don't even remember what they were, but I, I put about $10 on that. Um, so of all of the decor there uh, that, that I put on the porch came to $490 over about a seven year period. Now the most expensive thing, of course, was the was the decking itself because we got that little bit more expensive um, composite material that is a lifetime. Uh, so the porch itself, plus the rail we had to put on when the homeowners jumped on us, was all total about one thousand six hundred and fifty dollars for the railing and for the porch. So anyway, all total everything was around $2,100 over a six or seven year period. Y'all, I had a great time. I hope you did. Go outside and even if it's a tiny small space, go get some flowers <laughs> and put it there or whatever is your thing. Candles, a lot of people do a lot of different things, but this works for me. And it is definitely one of my favorite happy places. So anyway, y'all be blessed and find something to smile about and then think about how to use it in your decor. Hey, listen, y'all be blessed. See you next time, bye.